All right, well, we will go ahead and get started, everyone. I would like to welcome you to today's community call. My name is Charles Lively, and I am a science engagement engineer here at NURSE. I'm a part of the user engagement group, and on today's community call, it is going to focus on getting started on Perlmuter, and this is going to be aimed at users that are new to NURSE and new to HPC or vice versa. And we're gonna just go through a few different things. Um, uh, overall, a view of the agenda for the next hour, we'll just do a welcome and introduction to NURSE, overview of our hardware and software, interacting with NURSE, user responsibilities and expectations, and that's just for this the first half of this um, hour. So we will get started. The second half will focus on uh, more specifics related to using Perlmuter, how it's structured and how you can submit jobs as well on Perlmuter as well. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to use the Q&A doc, doc as, for um, questions as well as the chat. Uh, we'll have nurse staff here to address any questions that you might have. And uh, also keep in mind that all of these materials, the Q&A doc, the, um, so we are getting a file not found. So let's see if we can rectify that actually. And we will get started. And so what are you gonna get out of this call? Um, at the end of this call, you will be able to identify available nurse resources, identify computational resources at NURSE. Um, you'll be able to demonstrate how, the, how to submit a consulting ticket and demonstrate how to submit a job using SLRM on Perlmuter. All right, so let's first get started by introducing and welcoming you to NURSE. And so NURSE stands for the National Energy Research Scientific Computing Center. It was established in 1974 as one of the first, un, as the first unclassified supercomputing centers. And our mission upon the onset was to enable computational science to complement um, magnetically controlled plasma experiments, which was a focus of the Department of Energy at the time. This is 2024 and we are celebrating our 50th anniversary. And so our mission at NURSE is to accelerate scientific discovery at the Office of Science through high performance computing and extreme data analysis. And so NURSE is a national, it is the premier national um, DOE user facility. And we are a part of Lawrence Berkeley National Lab in beautiful Berkeley, California. And so at NURSE and as a part of the Department of Energy, we deal with numerous users of different backgrounds, such as yourself. Some will be researchers, some will be graduate students, some will be postdocs in all different scientific domains, ranging from um, bioenergy, environmental scientists, um, of course, large scale computing and simulations, material science, chemistry, nuclear physics, and a number of all different scientific areas that are of interest to the Department of Energy. And so your hosts for today, um, myself and Dr. Lippi Gupta, uh, we are both science engagement engineers here at NURSE. And Lippi, do you wanna just say a few words about yourself and? Sure, yeah, I'll try to do it without coughing. Um, I'm recovering from a bit of a cold. So uh, yeah, my name is Lippy. Um, hopefully some of you have seen some emails from me and from Charles. Um, we do, we're involved in all, a lot of the um, user engagement here at NERSC. Um, so what that means is if you have questions or thoughts and things that we can, like services that we can provide in terms of training or community events. Um, Charles and I are very receptive to that. We tend to plan a lot of those and um, are generally looking to just help our users make use of our system and feel connected to each other. Um, I'm My background is actually in physics um, and I only 
in the last couple of years have transitioned to HPC. So I, a lot of times feel like I'm also just getting started. I learn things every single day. Um, and, uh, there's a lot to learn, but I think it's, it's very manageable. And, um, Charles and I are both also really involved in making sure people, um, can kind of onboard into our system and start using it and doing their science. Um, so any of those things that you feel like we could help you with, um, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. And thank you, Lippy. And my apologies, I forgot about your voice. So thank you for even just taking a few moments to speak. Um, and my name is Charles. Um, again, with Lippy, we're both science engagement engineers. And so my background is actually kind of the reverse of Lippy. Um, my background is in computer engineering, performance modeling, and optimization, specifically energy aware computing. So for me is actually, I've always worked with scientists and uh, whether it's a physicist or a chemist that are modeling and simulating applications. And I work with them to figure out strategies to optimize and improve that performance in whatever aspect needed. So we're both uh, science engagement engineers here. And it is basically our job to help you be more efficient in using our resources and accelerating your science. So as you go through this hour and as you become more familiar with NURSE, please reach out to us for questions, support, recommendations, uh, anything that you think we could provide to you to make uh, your journey in science on Perlmuter at NURSE more efficient and effective. So. Continuing on, we have our user engagement group here. Um, we have our group lead, Dr. Rebecca Hartman Baker. And as you can see, we have a diverse team of individuals here. We have Dr. Helen He on the phone, on the line as well. Um, and our user engagement group is here to help you uh, achieve and use nurse resources efficiently. And so, as a part of nurse users, you are a part of the nurse user group. And we have a community of nurse users that we work together with to provide all of the necessary support and resources available. So if you're not a part of the nurse user Slack, please be sure to join. We have various special interest groups and whatnot available for you as well. And also if you have never attended or if you are interested in attending our annual meeting in October, that will be October 20 through, 22 through 24 for our 50th anniversary. And so again, welcome to NURSE. Now, as users, you also have responsibilities and expectations. Um, specifically, I, we want you to be kind to your neighbors and making sure you're aware of using um, shared resources. Uh, ensure you use your allocation smartly as you are working with a, a project and a group of other researchers. Make sure that you back up your, your, any of your data and material, um, especially from scratch, because we do have a, a specific purge policy. So if you do not touch a file, it will, in a certain amount of time, it is purged. Um, be sure to make sure that you acknowledge NURSE if you use any of our resources for your science and be sure to pay attention to security and do not make sure you do not share your account and password information with others um, as that uh, is a violation of nurse policy and could result in you using access to available resources. And so again, nurse by the numbers, we have over 10,000 users around the world across various institutions um, and a large part of our demographic is leans towards students and postdoctoral researchers, but we skew all different types of ways. And at NURSE and at Berkeley Lab, we do a lot of science. We have had numerous um, Nobel Prize winning researchers and scientists here. And again, our goal is to help accelerate science. So hopefully maybe one day one of you will be on this slide as well. And so now let's talk a little bit about what we have here at NURSE for you, the users to use. And that's going to be our hardware. And so at a high level, we 
or incrementally always working on and developing our next, next uh, systems. Um, currently, we are on Nurse 9, the Perlmutter system, and it is named after one of our Berkeley Lab scientists. Um, we're currently exploring um, requirements for our next system, Nurse 10 and beyond. And uh, a little bit of perspective, uh, the first nurse system I used as a grad student uh, was a nurse, the Nurse 3 system. It was called Seaborg, I believe. And that was way back in 2007, eight. So the, the nurse history and the, the roadmap to procuring a large scale system is just historically what we have done um, at our organization. And so Nurse 9 is Perlmutter. It is named after Saul Perlmutter, who won um, the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2011 for uh, discover discovering the constant at which the universe was ex expanding. Okay. And so the login for Saul, he had one request, making sure that his first name could be a login node. So one of the nodes is saul.nurse.gov. And so about our system, Perlmutter. So Perlmutter is our large scale uh, HPE Cray system. And it replaced our old system, Cori, which was a, a highly uh, CPU focused system. And so with Perlmutter, science has transitioned more towards using uh, GPU accelerated nodes. Um, I'm sure everyone has heard about that in the the general generative AI trends that have made use of um, GPU for accelerating science. Um, and so Perlmutter has both CPU nodes as well as GPU nodes. The first uh, portion of nodes that were arrived were our combined uh, GPU and CPU nodes. And our second phase of nodes were CPU only nodes. Um, if we could maybe get a quorum of the type of applications maybe that users are using, meaning do you expect that you're going to be working mainly on CPU only or GPU and CPU or um, MPI, OpenMP? Does any, could we get a few people sharing uh, what they will be using in there for their type of job submissions, what type of jobs? Okay, we're seeing in the chat, we got CPU, MPI, and GPU, CPU only, um, mostly CPU and MPI. Okay. It's also okay to say, I don't know. Maybe put it, if you, if you don't know, right? I don't know. That's a completely acceptable answer. Okay, awesome. And so there are different, um, factors to consider um, when you when you do get started on working on Perlmutter and whether you're going to be doing CPU and GPU. And then we did see, I saw somebody that said that they are hoping to be porting to GPU. So that is another, a whole nother um, contingency of factors that you also have to consider if you're going to port a code from being CPU to running GPU as well. And so... That is our system, and we'll go into more detail about it. This is providing you with your our overview um, for the software for Perlmutter. Uh, Perlmutter is a Crake supercomputer, and so it uses a version of Linux for the operating system, and we have uh, various compilers that are available for users to use. Um, our goal when deploying and designing and developing a system is making sure that we meet the needs of our users with the type of software applications that are gonna be used, the libraries, as well as the um, needed compilers and things that are gonna be needed to optimize the applications efficiently. So we have a, a variety of software options that are available on Perlmutter as well. Uh, some of the different types of, again, scientific applications that we support um, here at NURSE are also available. Um, so if you are working on any of these codes, a lot of them we do have 
um, available and optimized to run specifically on Perlmuter. 